Truly hollow may be the best way we've heard yet to describe the Republican primary race. Julian Epstein is a Democratic strategist and former chief minority counsel to the Judiciary Committee. And Laura Bassett is a journalist with the Huffington Post and joins us for the first time. Good afternoon to both of you. Julian, is Mr. Gingrich serious or does he simply shoot from the hip and worry about the fallout later? He is now the front runner. Well, he talks about being hollow. I, I think the opposite. I think there's just too much stuffing in this big old bird. I mean, whether it's the uh, three, whether it's the three uh, uh, wives he had, whether it is the three different positions he has on all the major issues, whether it's his mean spiritedness. I mean, he talks about uh, the Occupy Wall Streeters uh, needing to find a job and take a bath. I mean, here's a guy with a million dollar expense account at Tiffany's, uh, telling people, telling the unemployed they need to find a job. This guy sounds like. Marie Antoinette, Queen Marie Antoinette, saying, let them go eat cake. A guy that is just so unattractive on so many levels, it's just hard to see how the air doesn't come out of this balloon. <laughs> Laura, can you top that assessment of Newt Gingrich for me? I don't, I don't know if I can top it. I can say that uh, I'm just completely amazed by Newt Gingrich's obvious disdain for middle class workers, for, you know, for the working class in general. I, I think his comments about saying that we should fire all the janitors in schools and let children do their jobs, uh, I've never heard anything more offensive in my life. Um, to, say that, to say that janitors who are doing backbreaking works trying to, trying to keep our schools together so that they could put food on the table, I mean, coming from someone who makes, what, $30,000 an hour to, uh, to advise Freddie <laughs> Mac, I, I just, I, I think it's incredible. He is the best paid historian in Christmas. Them. Julian, Herman Cain was subjected to a withering interview by David Letterman on Friday night. And Mr. Letterman, he seemed to conduct the interview on the basis that most of Cain's policies are ludicrous. And today's Gallup poll, I don't know if you know this, has him at just 8%. Is Mr. Cain now done? I think so. This guy was a Roman candle from the very beginning. Uh, his, his policies were incoherent. His explanations about the accusations from uh, the various different women never seemed to be uh, particularly uh, coherent. Uh, here's a guy that probably in record time has gone from a phenom to a, a guy that I think will quickly be forgotten. Laura, do you agree with that assessment? Um, I have to agree. To, it was so sad to watch Kane completely flub his uh, questions on Libya. Um, it, he really doesn't have much to say at all on foreign policy to say he was going to completely lean on his cabinet for in, in decision making about defense policy. Um, I, I don't think anybody's going to trust him after that. Laura, you know, in his speech on Friday, Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago and of course former operative at the White House, barely mentioned any other candidate aside from Mitt Romney. And I guess this is a clear sign, is it not, that like everyone else, everyone's anticipating the inevitable Mitt as the challenger. I don't, yeah. know, that that's, I don't know that that's necessarily true, that, that it, they think that Mitt is the inevitable challenger. I think Mitt is the challenger we don't want to see. Um, of course, uh, nobody's going to start bashing Gingrich right now because it would be great for Democrats to see Gingrich as the nominee. And then once, once he's challenging Obama, people will start bashing him after that. Right now, I think the Democrats are afraid of Mitt Romney, and that's why they're pouring all their focus onto him. Julian, do you, do you agree that w with, with Laura where she says she thinks that actually the Democrats are slightly worried about Romney? Well, I think they are, but as I've said before, I think if Romney were running against Bernie Madoff, he wouldn't get more than 25% of the vote right now. Uh, and I think, you know, look, he's always the bridesmaid and never the bride. The good story for the White House right now is, regardless of who the nominee is, uh, we're looking at about a 15-point positive swing for Obama in the Gallup polls. About a month ago, Obama was at positive 38, negative 54 in the Gallup polls. Today, he's close to tied. And the reason for that is that most voters are starting to look at the Republican uh, presidential nominees, and it looks like a Star Trek convention to these guys. And so people are looking at them, and they're very, I think, disturbed by uh, what they see. They don't see any particularly compelling candidate. And Obama's numbers are, are uh, as a result, I think, starting to do much, much better. So Democrats look on this thing, and we, we couldn't be happier about the events in the Republican primaries. Julian, you have traversed everything from Queen Mary <laughs> Antoinette to Star Trek. Julian Epstein and Laura Bassett. Thank you.